So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Miles Sanders first carry of the game. Jabril Cox there on the tackle. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. On the counter now, it's Sanders. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one by the line of scrimmage. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Kind of a fine line when you're setting up the screen. You don't want to throw it too early. You have the defense react too quickly. And you definitely don't want to throw it too late. And that way it's not throwing perfectly. You've got to make sure you hit it just right. Fourth down with Hurts. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Prescott. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Normally, he's pretty reliable. He usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and 10. Now Prescott. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And he'll only get this to the 47. He needed a few more yards to pick up the first. Now Prescott on fourth down. Man open, that's complete to Dalton Schultz. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. And that's a big pickup on the first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense. They can't get the stop here. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. The last run got six, now second and four. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And he wisely will throw that one away. Oh, I saw this one with defensive eyes because even as he escaped the pocket and bought time, the coverage stayed tight. Nothing broke down. Throwing it away, that was his only option. Prescott to throw it. Catch is made. It's Schultz on the out route. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. The Prescott to Schultz there for the Cowboy first. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely, as one of the better coaches in the league always tells me. On offense, I want their body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Looking to throw, Prescott. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Here's Prescott. 
Flushed out right. Right back to his running back, Ezekiel Elliott. No score after one on EA Sports. This one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. The Cowboys here unable to convert on fourth down. And the Eagles' defense able to hold. The Eagles' offense set to begin their next drive. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side of their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so. But maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. 62 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. Hurts. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Neville Gallimore powering his way in and burying him. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. On the draw, here's Sanders. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. And he's not able to get away. He is stopped well, well short of a first down. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get him the football back. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. On first and ten, Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and they'll be left with second and a couple. Off the play fake, Prescott. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Ferguson. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Prescott. 
And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Prescott now from the 50. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The sack there by Brandon Graham coming in and bringing him down to the ground. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. It's on the ground. Well, offensively lucky they're able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. And this ball's going to be down now right at the 10-yard line. Good spot. Absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air, and that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, then we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. So no scoring in our first half. What will the second half bring as we are now back underway? And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, Charles, a scoreless first half. How does that change how you assess things here moving forward? Well, it doesn't change it a whole lot because remember, it's still scoreless, which means you're starting from zero again. So you just have one half to play instead of two. What I would look at my play sheet, though, and see is something that maybe loosens things up for my guys, gets a smile on their faces, and gets them going to begin the second half. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Prescott from the gun. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Locked in completions on first and second down. It certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense, quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. On third down, it's Prescott. Eluding the pressure right. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. He got out of the pocket there, was wondering what he was going to do with it, but I think he was calling, his receiver was calling for the ball, wasn't he? He certainly was a problem. He called for it too late, and when he delivered, they were all over him in the secondary and came up with the interception. And he'll get this just inside the 30-yard line. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there, but how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Another run here with Sanders. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, okay, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. Get 
They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And he's got his man. It's the tight end, Goddard. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Uh, that's a sharp throw right there on third down. They're looking to get the first points of the game, and they certainly don't want to be on a field goal. So that's a nice job to get the hook up and set up a first and goal. Might we see our first touchdown of the game? Here's first and goal. They'll run with Sanders, and he's brought down right at the five-yard line, given two on the play. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Once again with Sanders. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach turned his defense. The firemen, go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is... He's got a man complete! And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain of 32 that time. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? Got caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route, well run, and the football, right on the money. And that's going to go as a loss of six, and it'll set him back for second down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Now on second and 16, Prescott looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Steps up. Oh, Prescott stripped. Second time in this game, Charles, the ball is squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on it. You're right. Got the lucky bounce, able to retain possession. You know, we often talk about the combine and why do we measure quarterbacks' hands? Is that really a big deal? It's for situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being jostled? Here's Brian Anger now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Forty-four on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. This is taken at about the 14. 
So a good punt there, but a very strong 14-yard return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 83 yards on the ground now for Sanders. He's got a first down. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They'll go again with Sanders. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys okay, are thinking right ready. now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Throwing his hurts. And this is caught. That's Watkins. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Big hook up there. Forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Running right, here's Sanders. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a position. So they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Didn't 